For a time, John Lennon was the undisputed frontman of the Beatles. His bandmates admired him, and media sources identified him as the group's leader. According to a Beatles associate, this was a position Lennon desired but could not hold. He became too lethargic as the 1960s progressed. For many years, Peter Brown, the personal assistant to Beatles manager Brian Epstein, worked closely with the band. He said he didn't play favorites, but he mostly communicated with Paul McCartney. McCartney was more committed to the group than his bandmates. I could communicate with Paul. I suppose I was closer to him, but I was always fascinated by John's enigmatic personality, Brown told Rolling Stone. Paul was the thorough one, the workaholic, and John was lazy. Brown claimed that Lennon wasn't always like Way. He first led the band with absolute authority. But in the beginning, John was unquestionably the boss. It was his group, Brown explained. It was John the leader, and John everything. And John was never a compromiser. John did what he wanted. McCartney subsequently took authority from Lennon, but Brown suspected this was mainly because the latter had lost interest in the band. If Lennon had wanted to stay as leader, he could have. So when Paul took over, it was only because John lost interest, Brown explained. Of course, that became an issue when Yoko appeared and persuaded John to express himself again. He wanted to take everything back. While Lennon wielded considerable power in the early Beatles, his first wife, Cynthia, believed he could never have achieved success without McCartney. He had artistic dreams, but she didn't believe he could have realized them without his bandmate. He would have ended up as a bum. It's difficult to say now, given what occurred, but John wouldn't have cared, she stated in Ray Coleman's book, Lennon, the definitive biography. I'd have gone to work, he'd have no qualifications because he was failing art college, and Mimi would have pushed him in all ways. He would have needed to acquire a trade or go back to school, and I don't see him concentrating. He would have gone downhill, even while Lennon had complete control of the Beatles, McCartney was vying for leadership. John and Paul had always been competitive, Cynthia writes in her book, John. Although the other band members and the audience were aware that John was the group's leader, Paul wanted to be involved in all decisions, whether they were about which venue to play or which songs to employ.